Welcome to the first video of 2024. Go through some of my goals. I think I'm gonna go red. <laughs> Guys, I finished my massage. I've decided on the Gold Coast Marathon. So painful. Immediately, no. <laughs> Let's write out some goals, shall we? friends welcome back to my channel welcome to the first video of 2024 it is currently the 3rd of january as i'm filming this and it's wednesday i feel like the days still don't feel like the days every day has just felt like saturday but i hope everyone had a really nice christmas and new year's it always just flies by and then before you know it it's like into january it feels like i haven't filmed in ages but in reality it's been like a week and i definitely don't feel ready for the year it feels like everyone else is though and that's a little bit disheartening because it makes me feel like I should be more prepared or more clear on what I'm wanting to achieve this year than I am currently. I think goals and New Year's resolutions are fantastic if they help you and realistically speaking you do need a little bit of pressure to achieve goals that you want to achieve otherwise you probably wouldn't achieve them you know but I do feel like at least for me I feel a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of you know everyone's ins and outs for the year and what we're not bringing into 2024 and I think it's so so good I think because I'm not there yet it's a little bit overwhelming for me and it's making me feel a little bit guilty for still kind of being in like holiday mode it's gonna get very hot in this car very quickly because I actually feel like the last few days I've really rested and I've slept in and I've done like nothing and I haven't felt guilty about it and it's been really really nice and I kind of feel like I'm still in that state and I might be in that state for maybe even this week so I guess I just want to say if you feel a little bit overwhelmed by everyone else's like new year's goals and making their vision boards for the year and like there's a million and one things that you feel like are happening right now don't worry I feel the same I feel a little bit overwhelmed I do think if I actually take the time to sit down and like think about what I want to do this year I'll feel a little bit less overwhelmed I honestly don't know where I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to a cafe but I'm not sure I was gonna go to the gym but I'm not sure but I just got in the car and I left because that is something that I need to do more of this year I got this planner which is called the traction planner from she rebranded what did she rebrand to from happy work originally they were called the happy employee she's beautiful maybe going to a cafe and like writing some stuff down um this was gifted to me so thank you so much it is beautiful i actually think now that i've said that out loud that is gonna be my course of action i've brought my kindle i brought like stuff to go to the gym i just wanted to get out of the house that is something that i really want to work on this year is getting out of the house much more because that really plays havoc on my mental health and it was something that I really felt like was a big problem towards the end of the year. I certainly have a lot of inner work to do and like to get clear on what I want and I need to be proactive with what I want because it's not gonna just fall in my lap. Yeah and I do think my goals this year feel a little bit different to what they have been. They feel a little bit less impressive. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't know. It's my 25th birthday this year. It's gonna be a good year. It will be. And my camera's dying. I should have brought a second battery. But quickly, just to catch you up on what's happened the last few days, I did end up going to the Wildlands Festival um, and it was so much fun. I did feel a bit anxious at one point, but I managed to kind of get over that and I had a really good time. So very proud of myself for going and thank you so much to people who messaged me saying, good job, proud of you for pushing through like your anxiety and going. That really, I really appreciated that because it was a bit tough. Yeah, let's go to a cafe and let's, let's write out some goals, shall we? that are in this spot they always just turn into the, the biggest thing ever okay it is now like a week later do you want to say hi 
Say Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, you're a bit smelly. You're, you smell a bit. No, Charlie. You can sit. You sit right there. I wanted to kind of go through some of my goals. I really wanted this week to be like, go, go, go. We are back in routine. It's happening. But it's probably been anything but that. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about my goals for 2024. Like I said, I feel like how, I feel like they're not as impressive as some people where it might be, you know, I want to make this amount of money or I want to do this with my business or I want to do that. And I'm like, that's not really, not my focus. I feel like my focus this year is really really about me and my happiness. So my first goal is my fitness goal. And that is to consistently work out two to three times a week and just maintain a consistent workout routine. Um, I'm specifically talking about the gym here. I'm not talking about running. I feel like I can tend to be really good with my fitness you know, split and schedule. And then I kind of fall off um, for maybe like a week or two and then I well, like get back into it. But I feel like I'm never like truly consistent with it. And I really want to do that this year. Be consistent with it. Look at the gym like it's something I get to do, not something that I have to do, you know? And to someone looking at my life from the outside, you might think that I am consistent with the gym, but it's all perspective. It's just what I feel. What I know I'm capable of, and especially with running and the marathon and stuff, it's very important. So having like a clear schedule, having like a clear intention to when I go to, when I go to the gym, because a lot of the time I'm like, oh, what do I want to do today? And I don't have a clear vision of what I'm doing. The next goal I have is running, of course. I want to complete a marathon this year. I think I'm like 99, I mean, I've written it down, so surely it's going to be the one. I was going to do the Brisbane marathon. However, a few people have told me that it's a very hilly marathon. Don't know how I feel about hills. So I've decided on the Gold Coast marathon for the most part, which is the half marathon that I ran because it's nice and flat. It's nice and familiar. I've done it from the half marathon. So I know what I'm doing and I think I might do the Brisbane half marathon because that will just kind of fall into my training because I'll probably start marathon training end of February-ish because it'll be a 16 week block. It's a long time to be dedicated to this one thing. So hopefully nothing goes wrong. Another goal I have is a social goal. I feel like 2023 was a very unsocial year for me. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I feel like it was a very isolating year and I felt quite lonely. I'm very, very protective of my energy and who I give myself to because I feel like I've been burned in the past when it comes to friends and just relationships with people. So I think I'm, I've been very closed off to connections, which is not a good thing. Even though I'm a very introverted person, so socializing makes me really really happy and it's always been a very big value of mine but sometimes it feels like a catch 22 not a catch 22 but just like I find it really hard because my social battery honestly doesn't last that long but I do think that's a result of being self-employed and because I work for myself and I'm alone a lot my like stamina when it comes to socializing is lower because I I don't it's like going to the gym you know Sounds so funny. I just really want to make more friends this year, hang out with the people that are important to me and do things with people, you know, be social, maybe join a run club, join a sports team or like a, do gymnastics classes, which I've spoken about before and just, you know, reach out to people, even if they're not reaching out to you. I think that's a thing that I get caught up on sometimes if, if as I expect people to maybe reach out to me when I can reach out to them and it's like a, it's a two way street, you know. Another goal I have is to be happy. <laughs> Uh, slash fun. That's what I wrote. I've literally just written I want to have more fun, experience more things, and get out of the house. <laughs> Similarly to the social one, I just, this is honestly probably like my main goal for this year is to have fun. I honestly don't think I had much fun last year and I don't mean that in an ungrateful way either because I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed in the things that I do get to experience. But in terms of just like going out, having like fun social things again to look forward to, going places, like having a little like maybe like a getaway for the weekend or whatever it may look like, I feel like I didn't experience much of that because I was very 
you know, dedicated to my routines and dedicated to my training, which is great. But I think I lost the whole living like and fun aspect of my life. I just want to look back and be like, wow, I did this. And that was such a fun time. Going to Wildlands was a really good example of me being like, wow, I really want to experience more of that this year. Because while running a marathon and doing all these like cool things in terms of like career are so cool. But I think if I'm not having fun and I'm not happy, then what's the point, you know? So I really just want to like do more things, go to more events. Like I say no to a lot of events and I say no to a lot of things because I feel like I'm just stuck in my routine or I'm like, no, because I need to wake up at 4am the next day to do my easy run. And it's like, well, Connor, you know, maybe go out to that thing or whatever it may be and like wake up a bit later. Like it's fine. You know, I'm going to go through these a little bit more quickly because otherwise we'll be here for so long. Um, I've got travel on there, which is pretty self-explanatory. I want to travel more. Um, I didn't travel a whole lot last year. It was mainly for work that I did travel. So my boyfriend and I do have a trip to Queenstown booked, which will be really exciting. And we also are probably going to go to New Zealand to meet his family because I've never met his family. But yeah, have more like little weekends away or day trips somewhere. Just more travel. Not necessarily on a plane, but just more leave the town, you know? <laughs> I've got careers number six. I love how that's like so far down. I wanna be more intentional and create content that makes me happy. I feel like I've really lost myself when it comes to content. Like I've been very confused about what direction I wanna take it on multiple platforms. I think because I've been weekly vlogging for so long, the purpose of what I am trying to upload, even though I know a lot of you guys say like, we just love you seeing doing like your day-to-day -day stuff, but it gets boring after a while, like it does. <laughs> so I really wanna be more intentional about what I'm putting onto the internet, it having a purpose and having value and instead of me feeling like I've just put up a shit video, you know, like I really don't want to do that and I want to also start planning my content schedule a lot more and maybe even like be vlogging you know like two weeks behind or two weeks ahead if that makes sense so it just gives me a little bit more wiggle room for things and not necessarily doing a weekly vlog every week because it really does burn me out quite quickly and back to the whole content planning it will make me feel so much less stressed I feel like I've stressed out a lot in terms of content and what goes where um so if I plan the whole month out then that takes all the stress away tell me why this is my seventh or eighth year doing this and I don't do that. So moving on. I've got financial on here which, which I want to invest my money in something whether that's a property or something else because I want to be smart with my money. A lot of it I don't understand and I feel dumb so that makes me not want to go after those things but I don't want to be scared anymore. Educate yourself Connor. I'm a smart girl. I could do it. So I think that's something that I want to do. The second last one, I have move house. It'll probably be more of a renting situation, which gives us a little bit more freedom in terms of moving where we want to move. And then if I want to buy another property, I can. So yeah, that one is something that should be a lot higher on the list. Um, moving house, self-explanatory. And Charlie will be coming with us. And then finally, I've got stop negative self-talk. I'm a negative Nancy. Like I really am. It's pretty detrimental to my mental health. I'm so mean to myself. My biggest enemy and my biggest bull in life is me. <laughs> Sometimes I think if you took the way that you talk to yourself and you s did it to someone else, you would never do that. So why would I be doing it to myself? I want to stop canning myself out before I've even tried. I do that a lot. Be more positive and optimistic because the way I kind of think a lot of the time is I'll think of the worst case scenario or I choose to not get my hopes up for something because I don't want to be let down. And I feel like in my mind, I'm like, it's easier to be disappointed about something before it happens just in case that you are disappointed. And saying it out loud just sounds so dumb, but that's how I think. And I really need to change that because I'm not gonna get anywhere with that mentality. I need to start believing in myself and stop the negativity because it's gonna rule my life. You know? So when I catch myself being negative, I think I need to just be more mindful mindful of it and we just need to decide to be happy. And I think that definitely stems back to gratitude and I am a 2023 was definitely a difficult mental health year for me, even though people say like, oh, but you have so many things to be grateful for. I do. But everyone still has dark times and struggling with your mental health doesn't discriminate. It, you could look at the seemingly most wealthy, happiest person on earth and they could be severely depressed. Like you just, it happens to everyone. So yeah, I just, I really want to be a more positive person and really try and kick the negative Nancy 
out of me. Those are my goals that I wrote down. I also have like a bunch of other ones that are like mini goals and stuff. Like for example, one of them is I want to stop slicking my hair back as much as possible because I think it's breaking my hair off. Even though I love the slick back hair. But yeah, things like that. Just like small things, you know. I'm gonna go now because I've been chatting for so long. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed my little goals because yeah. Okay, if you did watch my last vlog, you'll know that Train With Soph and myself have come out with a fit girl challenge that starts on the 22nd of January. I will leave some more info down below if you guys are keen because registrations are closing quite soon. But yeah, I'm going to bring you through a lower body session. They are a little bit different depending on what day you do. I usually train about three days a week. So we're starting out with some barbell RDLs. These are so good for running as well, by the way. And of course, the glute growth. Love them. I prefer a barbell, but you can do these with dumbbells as well and then moving on to some deficit barbell lunges these again great for running a lot of the movements in the challenge do transfer really well over to running because we do have the running aspect of it obviously and again great for the glutes you really want to make sure you're using the working leg that is on the plate and pushing up kind of in that escalator motion and then of course classic hip thrusts Guys, my hip thrusts feel super weak at the moment, so my form is not the best on this, but great for the glutes, of course. And for some accessory work, we've got some K-Bell kickbacks. I have not really mastered these yet. I will say I am trying to get better at them. There are heaps of videos on TikTok and obviously Soph has heaps of information as well about different ways that you can do these to make sure you're feeling it in the glute. And then I'm doing some lying hamstring curls. Oh my gosh! My hamstrings were sore for like three or four days after doing this. The doms are real. So maybe just go a little bit easy on the hamstring movements if you are easing into the gym as well. And then I also finished with a back extension, but I didn't film that because there was like 55 people around it. So yeah, sorry about that. Hello. Currently in my father's car <laughs> because my car is getting fixed. Who remembers this car from like my vlogs and stuff? I'm about to get my hair done and I think... <laughs> I think I'm gonna go red. I'm scared because I've been thinking about this like way back in the, the back of my mind for the past a long time. It's coming up to four months since I've gotten my hair done, which is quite a long time for me um, because the last time we got it done, we kind of just stretched out the roots and I've just like left it. And I and I do have the goal of growing it, but I don't know if you guys know, you probably do, Kennedy Walsh, her hair is stunning that color of red or ginger or whatever you want to call it what's everyone calling it like cowboy copper or something i think is just absolutely stunning and when i first went brunette that one time the first time we dyed it it was quite warm and, it, and i look back and i do think it really suited me because my green eyes i feel like the red or i use red very loosely because there's obviously like so many different shades of red the cowboy copper or the copper hair possibly really suit me i'm pretty much decided that yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna talk to eva and see what she says because i do i am aware that red is very very difficult to get out of hair so i feel like she's probably gonna suggest you know doing something more temporary but i think because i'm like oh it took me so long to go blonde but like also i can go blonde again if i want to uh so we'll see how we go i might not <laughs> This all might not be happening, you know, depending on what Eva says. If she's like, girl, that's so hard to get out of your hair, like, da 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 da. Because my mum has like very dark hair. Oh wow. So yeah. they were like, what is this? Like what's happening? And what does your dad have? Well he he went grey at like 26. Wow. Like yeah. fully grey. But he had just like dark brown hair too. Interesting. Yeah. yeah so you, just the... <laughs> that's oh my god. It wow. was like so red. I'm excited. Mm. How hair. exciting. Yeah. Literally it's like the most exciting thing. <laughs> it's gonna look so good on you as well. I, I hope yeah. so. Your eyes are just gonna literally like pop like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can just keep 
I think I'm just in shock and I'm like, oh my gosh. It is gonna lighten and what she's done, basically, if I do wake up tomorrow and I'm like, no, not for me, the process getting it blonde again won't be as if I'm getting like permanent dye out. My boyfriend's just coming home, so I wanna get his reaction. I didn't tell him that I was doing this. I've hinted at that I wanted to maybe dye my hair red, but oh my gosh, I don't know, do I suit it? <laughs> like, I can't believe I just did that. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. I like it. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. And you know what else? I'm proud of you for doing it. <laughs> yeah, because it was risky. Yeah, you took a big step. Yeah. I like it. Good morning from the redhead Connor. Driving in the city makes me so anxious. Good morning, it is Friday today. Yesterday I got a lash lift and my brows laminated. It has been a hot minute. Okay, let me actually keep an eye on the time. I don't have all the time in the world. I don't know about anyone else, but just driving in the city and street parking. Oh, if you tell me there's street parking, immediately no, immediately no. Street parking basically means you're gonna fight for your life. It's just not a good time. It's almost 9.30. I'm actually getting a massage this morning, which I'm super excited for. I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but I haven't had a massage in ages, especially during marathon training. It would be so nice if it was like, maybe not a weekly thing, but like semi-regularly just to like keep everything in check. Cause it's a form of recovery and I'm not very good at recovery, so. Yeah, but I managed to get a park and I think I'm in the right spot. I'm like literally outside Suncorp Stadium, if you know where that is in Brisbane. I originally put the address in because um, I use a Apple Maps, but I also have Google Maps. I prefer Apple Maps. However, just in case you're wondering, sometimes it literally doesn't work. Like it will not take you to the right spot. And it did it this time. And I was like, this is not it. Like I know it's meant to be like near Suncorp because it's like, it's like a building address, you know, or it's like a one slash four. So it did that and then I quickly like used Google Maps because it usually is better for destinations and it got me to the right spot. Like, I don't know why it does that. <sighs> okay, I actually need to go in because I'm like a new patient. So I you have arrived. Yes, I have. <laughs> and with time to spare, laminated brows. I haven't like wet them yet. I also have an enormous mountain on my face that I tried to squeeze and it wasn't ready. Pay my app. I don't have the app. Pay my app. I don't have an app. Oh. Street parking. Oh, okay, wait. Guys, I finished my massage. It just started raining. That was so painful. But oh my gosh, so good. Basically, I need to stretch way more. I felt kind of bad. I was like, mm. literally the whole, the left side of my body is pretty much just so tight and so shit, basically. She did some cupping on me. I'm definitely gonna make that more of a regular thing. Oh, that was, there were some points. And obviously I'm not used to it, so I'm probably like an absolute baby. Did some releasing of things that should help with my like lower back pain. I don't know if my shoulders look different because she said they like dropped because she released them and they were really tight. Anyway, I'm gonna drive home now because it's literally 
baby with those green eyes, baby with Okay, it's now 5 p.m. I'm just getting ready to go to dinner with some friends. Look at me being social already. Let me... <laughs> she said my back was gonna mark because obviously when you do the cupping, it's literally the thing that I thought of was like the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Do you guys remember that? When you used to put a cap on your lips and it was so bad because it would literally like bruise your lips and stuff. Trigger warning, I guess, because it's kind of... If you don't like seeing bruising and like don't watch the next few clips, um, but... Ready? Look at my back. <laughs> Look at that. And it's all on my shoulders as well. I can't really show you that. I've got like some cupping marks on my bum. I really want to like make my hair look nice, but I've got like oil in it from the massage. So maybe if I put dry shampoo in it, I'm just going to let these con this concealer sit because you saw the size of that pimple, it was huge. Take away the pain. I hate dry shampoo. I'm supposed to get my period today and it has not come yet. Period may start. It was super delayed last month, which is so annoying because it feels like I'm just waiting for it to come and my emotions get so muddled up. I don't know if anyone knows what I mean. Cause you know, once it comes, then you can kind of start the process of feeling good again. You know, those pimples that just feel like an absolute crater. Yeah. Collection. And to me, I felt along with everything else. Not good stuff. So I quickly realized that I had of organizing to do. Ooh, that's so pretty. I forget how nice beauty blenders apply. Like, yeah, it sucks up the product, but it makes it look. I need to put my hair back. This is annoying. I got one of these uh, headbands that like go like this. I don't know if I like it or not. They're just kind of annoying to put on and off. I don't know. Camera's gonna fill up in a second. Without everything. This foundation is so nice. I always forget about it, but then I put it on every now and then. It does have SPF in it. I don't know why I worry about that as if I'm gonna be on a red carpet or something. <laughs> oh, flashback. This is also a new purchase of mine, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I think this is $14, which is a steal. I'm gonna like blend this out a little bit with my fingers. I don't really have bags per se under my eyes, which I'm lucky for. So I don't like putting a heap of concealer. Concealer? I swear I have a lisp with certain words. Concealer. What was my other one? Lash serum. Lash serum. Lash serum. I'm gonna put a very like orangey shade, but quite light on my lid because the orange matches the hair and it makes my eyes Stand out. I hope that's how you pronounce her name. You see, so happy I can finally use. I want, I hope I'm doing this right and they can my leave this briefly dry. Okay, this is, why did I say it like that? Lighting is not good. This is my outfit. I don't know whether the whole like real baggy jeans is a vibe on me. I don't know. Does it look Whoa. like I just have a saggy crotch? Do I look dumb? The jeans? Like no, 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 I like money. Yeah, you actually look cool. Oh, thank you. It's got the zooms. It's got the zooms. And that way, I just need to not touch this now. 